Hi, this is Laniel Mitchell from Revolution Physical Therapy in Cranberry Township, PA. I wanted to take the time to give you the highlights of our specialized fitness program here at Revolution. The success is really in the details. Most of the people who have come here have experienced our training and can tell you that the detail is in our techniques cannot be matched. We use the training program of future Hall of Famer Troy Polamalu, which was created by Gavin McMillan in the sports science lab called NIT, or Neuromuscular Intensification Training. Our assessment gives us the baseline data to do to determine the appropriate exercise regimen for the athletes. Uh, we have athletes of all ages, both, both male and female, and we have to customize their programs to get them the best results. The program that we use is second to none for enhancing explosiveness, and training athletes for sport-specific strength. Speed and agility are probably the most important aspects of our training today for competition in sports. We have been training many athletes here locally in the area from soccer to hockey to wrestling, and they all need speed and agility. The most conventional training programs out there simply put athletes through different drills and exercises with no emphasis on the details of the technique. The details of this technique is actually what allows the carryover of these abilities onto the field. Many of these programs are designed to improve fitness, but there's a huge difference between working out and trying to get in better shape and actually training to improve our athletic ability and performance. Our program focuses on improving athletic movements, athletic abilities, and athletic techniques that are actually utilized in the playing field. No other program does this. This, this is a program that's created for athletes by athletes. All of our trainers have competed at a collegiate level, and if you ask any of them, they all wish they could have started training with these concepts much earlier, including myself. If you practice something, you get better at it, you see. Our nervous system just works this way. If you practice something wrong, your body doesn't know the difference, so you keep getting better at doing the wrong thing, and you're getting better at doing something that's not actually beneficial for you on the playing field. Hence the term sport-specific training. In sport-specific training, the movements should actually mimic what you do in sports. For example, weightlifting is its own sport, and it doesn't encompass the movements that actually occur on the field. Speed and agility drills that I've seen in other programs also aren't specific enough to carry over to improvement on the field. Not only can this be detrimental to our athletic performance, but improper movements lead to injuries. And this is what I end up rehabbing after I see an injury. We end up trying to correct all of these improper movements. And this should be rule number one. Training should not cause injuries. you got to remember that performance training is not just the same as getting in shape. So Our program starts with training the foot, which is probably the most often overlooked aspect of training. The foot is, in the, th- is the thing that's always in contact with the ground during athletic acts and it's probably the most important part of the body for absorbing impact and creating force. So the question really is, is why wouldn't you want to train the feet? The next step is to tie the upper body and the lower body together through our core. Now our core is designed to create a stable base so we can use the elasticity of our limbs for power. If our core is weak, we can't re- reach our potential in terms of our power. And we have to train our core appropriately to do this, and the core training should be done dynamically. Planks and yoga postures ultimately have diminishing returns for athletes. Our core is the most important part during any dynamic movement, and it should be trained dynamically as well. Our core and footwork programs focus on sport-specific posture, postures and positions which the athletes will actually encounter during sports. This allows the athlete to tie everything to get, together to get stronger and create a more solid base. This solid base uh, of movement and stabilization allows the athletes to see even greater gains in strength and power during our strength training program. Our strength training program is also second to none. The combination of the SuperCat and the isokinetic accelerator machine allows our athletes to increase their power and really it's their ability to generate force quickly using sport specific movements. And these sport specific movements can't re- be replicated with any other mach- machines or free weights. This also, also carries in uh, to our physical therapy at Revolution. We specialize in returning athletes to a high level or maybe even a higher level than they were before following an injury or a surgical reconstruction such as an ACL or a slap repair. It's really the best of both worlds. We have great training and great rehabilitation. These machines and our workouts ensure that the athletes are able to return to their sports at a high level, and most often sooner than they were or they would be able to uh, when compared to other traditional methods, which I know because I've used these methods before. 
finally, when we examine any playing field, the, the best athletes are the most coordinated. I've said this over and over again. These athletes are able to use their power at the right time. They have great body awareness, and they have better control of their movements than the other athletes on the field. And it's really easy for anybody to see, and today we know we can train this to get better. Athletes don't need to just work out. They need specialized fitness. They need specialized strength. There's nothing com- that can compare to our program. Remember, if you want to be your best, don't do whatever everyone else does. Join the revolution.